Hello and in today's pick programming tutorial I'm going to do custom characters on an LCD display. So let's get straight into it. We have the character generator RAM over here and this can be used to generate 5 by 8 dot characters and 5 by 10 dot characters. This line we don't care about. This we do care about. We are going to have a look at table 5. Um, there's modifying character patterns we don't care about. That's all for having a set EEPROM on the Touchy, which we, we do not. We have a fixed RAM. Uh, we do not care about how this process works. And don't be deceived, this is for a custom EEPROM again. And another one for a custom EEPROM. And then we get to the character mapping. Your custom characters will be located over here in the DDRAM. So your first custom character will be at address 0 all the way to address 8. Now for 5 by 8 characters we can have 8 characters and for 5 by 10 characters we can have 4 characters. That will get explained later but again all the way from 0 to address 7 is where the custom characters is. Now I have no clue why they're adding numbers over here because you can't access these. Alright, then in table 5 we have the relationship between the GC address character codes and the DDRAM patterns. Now this is the important bit. Now over here we have the DDRAM and then each address all the way to number 7. So from 0 to 7. Then the GC RAM addresses go from bit 0 to 5, so the GC RAM spans from 0 to 0, 3, ooh, that's an ugly 3, but I'm keeping that, 3F. And then the only piece of the address we can access, uh, we can use as characters, is 0 to 4. We don't care about 7, 7 6, and 5. Alrighty. Now, each character in the GCRAM is characterized by the upper three bits and then 0 to 7. So, each character spans 0 to 7. And then we just offset by GCRAM address, which is 1. Now, if you can see, there's a correlation between these two numbers over here. So if we bit shift by 3, we get the starting address of the GC RAM address. Now let's go look at 5 by 10s Now as you can see, um, a 5 by 10 character spans two addresses wide. So each character will be 0 to 1 in the case of the first address. And then the second one will be 2 to 3. So you will be accessing uh, 5 by 10 characters as 0, 2, 4, 6, giving you a total of 4 characters maximum. And then your 5 by 8s will be 8 characters total. Now the functions we are going to use for this is... We are going to use the GCRAM address set, we are going to use the DDRAM address set, and then we're just going to use the write RAM and we're not going to use the read RAM command. So as I stressed in the interface video, whichever address you written to last or written to last is the address you're going to read or write to. So once you've written to the GC RAM, then you need to write to the DD RAM to tell the display to do its stuff. All right, now let's get to the coding. So. The first thing we are going to do is create our character. So we just create a const char and we call it a bell and we say 8 and I'm picking a bell because YouTube. And we start filling the array of 8 elements because the whole GC RAM space is uh, GC. I keep calling it GC, I don't know why. Uh, CG RAM space is 8 bits wide. And 8 bytes long. That's why we have a const char array of 8. So we first create our 
first um, element in the array and then we say 0b 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and comma and we create eight of these elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then we space them out like so because the upper three bits are absolutely useless to us and then I'm going to create the top of the bell I'm going to create three pixels wide and then another three pixels wide so only the center three pixels will be on and the outer pixels will be off and I create a full row of on another full row of on and another full row of on Something I probably missed to tell you is the bottom row is reserved for the cursor. So you can't technically use it. You can, but technically you can't. Technically you shouldn't. But anyways, um, then we just join them back up. Then we start with a function. We say void lcd uh, custom uh, char. And we call it uint8 and we say then we pass it a char pointer and we call it x c whatever um okay so basically this will be the position in the ddram we want it and this will be pointing to the custom character data so now from the lcd display header file I created. Uh, you can check out one of the other videos where I improve the code. Should be up by now. Then we get the LCD RAM address function. Just place that in there. We take the pos. We say that's equals to pos bit shifted by let's see 4. And then just for safety we end it with 0x07 because that is the maximum amount of characters we can have in here. So if you pass something wrong, you can do error codes if you really want to. Um, but this just nulls it out and then you keep on writing to the zero character, the last, the last frame in the address. And this comes from where I talked to earlier about how they correlate with each other. Then we pass pos to the GCRAM address. So we are writing now to that GCRAM address. Then the next thing is we are going to read in our data. So we say for uint8 underscore i equals 0 comma i less than 8 because our absolute maximum is 8 because I am not going to do 5 by 10 fonts. i plus plus increment i every time then we take x uh, down here we take the brace around it and we say i just comment that out quickly and then we need to write to the ram go uh, gc no we don't want to read the ram we want to write to the ram then we say write ram and we just pass it the current position of x and bob's your uncle we have a custom character Okay, so I just made the function look le nice. Uh, maybe call it custom character right. Then we take the custom character right function. We put it after our net because we don't want funny things to happen with our LCD. We s we pass it zero because we want at the zeroth position the character to write. Then we pass it bell. Now granted this is not good practice just to pass an array of pointers just down a function that has thing. Usually would pass size of but I can't be bothered today. Then what we need to do is then we need to set the pos of the LCD. We say 0 comma 0 and the reason why we're setting the, the LCD at position 0 0 because otherwise we are going to continuously start writing to the GCRAM address and it's gonna it's gonna cause us nightmares. Um, and I mean the terrible kind where you need to start stack tracing. What else was there? Uh, I actually need to probably print something to the LCD. I've pre-written some stuff. 
we are going to print subscribe on the first line then on the second line so we say LCD set pos to 1 on the y coordinate to move it to the first character of the second line then we add in LCD print string uh, ring the bell and then we say LCD print 0 because we are adding it to the 0th character and you know what I'm going to make a second character just to drive the point home and this is probably the simplest test one you will ever do that was the neighbor's alarm um, we just split that out again I should probably make this template uh, so we have one two three four and then one two three four uh, my phone is probably not gonna pick that up but whatever okay now let's do this so Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is our second custom character. We'll call that uh, the most difficult thing in programming, selecting your variable name. Let's call it window. And then we just, ah, then we just join the stuff together. And then under custom right, we add this. We take window and we put window at character 6. Doesn't really matter, but you need to keep track of where your custom characters are because ooh, programs can get big and nasty. Not that you ever use a LCD in a professional thing anymore. I am going to print number 6. Okay, so let's program the pick. Oh lordy. Oh lordy, what went wrong? Oh. Oh, I made a whoopsie. This needs to be swapped around. Okay. Um, then we reprogram the pick. Let me go have a look at that table. Okay, so lesson learned. I was lazy and I tested with zero. Never test with zero because everything multiplied by zero is zero. Okay. So what I changed is we have to shift the bit by three, not four. Alright, so we have the initial display, just to show you how it prints out, I am pressing the reset button, clears the display, it's gonna do some funny thing, ooh it didn't do funny things, let's see if it just does funny things, uh, where's that button, ooh it's difficult with all these wires, ok it instantly resets, because probably the program. Anyways, okay. You can see a subscribe and a ring the bell with the bell icon, and then that stack tower. If I sound a little bit cuckoo for Pacoco Puffs, it's because I haven't been out in a while with this Corona stuff. Yes, it was recorded at that that time. Okay, code will be on Git. I have a Twitter and a Facebook page now. They will be linked down in the description if you want to contact me. A comment, like, share and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Have a nice day.